Electric vehicles according to some people, are worse for the environment than internal combustion engines. Others argue that EVs aren't nearly as dangerous as internal combustion. So, today, we're going to discuss about three frequently asked questions. First, doesn't manufacturing electric car batteries cause a lot of pollution? Second, isn't it detrimental for the environment to mine rare earth elements? And lastly, don't electric cars obtain their electricity from fossil fuels in the first place, negating any pollution benefits? One of the most common arguments against electric vehicles is that the production of batteries is significantly more environmentally damaging than the production of internal combustion engines. And yes, the initial environmental footprint of electric car manufacture is higher than that of internal combustion engine. EVs, huge batteries are constructed of lithium, which, like any other raw material, must be mined and processed. And it produces a significant amount of greenhouse emissions. Unless the production process becomes more efficient, this is a problem that will only get worse. In three top auto markets, China, the US, and Europe, sales increased by 160% to 2.6 million units in the first half of 2021, compared to the same period the previous year. According to estimates, there will be over 125 million electric vehicles on the road by 2030. And those vehicles will require batteries. Lithium, of course, is in high demand, and it has to come from someplace. It takes a lot of carbon dioxide to make an electric vehicle, and the bigger the battery, the more CO2 gets emitted in the environment. An economy-size EV battery may take as few as 2 metric tons to produce, but larger EV with long-range batteries could be responsible for up to 17 metric tons of CO2 emissions. Whereas the average production for an internal combustion vehicle produces around 7 metric tons of CO2. More than half of the world's lithium supply comes from an area between Chile, Bolivia and Argentina. Workers in the Atacama Desert drilled through the salt crust to reach the mineral-rich brine beneath the surface. This procedure extracts a significant amount of groundwater from the surrounding area, resulting in a reduction in water supply. One ton of lithium requires 750 tons of brine, but lithium is only one of the components in a battery. Another element used in batteries, cobalt, is becoming a source of increasing concern. More than 70% of the world's cobalt is produced in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, but the issue is more of an ethical dilemma, as some cobalt mines use child labor and the conditions are dreadful. Because of the volatile nature of the elements, there is also the issue of storing and reusing these items. The fact is that, in comparison to gas engines, modern electric car production is still in its infancy. As time passes and new methods are implemented, the environmental impact will improve. Right now many countries in the world are highly dependent on coal and diesel power to generate electricity, so the impact of driving a zero-emission car in those regions is almost negligible. But as clean energy such as wind, solar, and hydroelectric become more common, the efficiency at which an EV operates will only get better. So, with all the major points covered, let's see how electric and internal combustion vehicle compares. We will be using data which is easily available for US market. Manufacturing the average internal combustion vehicle produces 7 metric tons of CO2. This number considers everything from the mining or for steel to the moment the car rolls off the production line. This number is lower than EVs because of the absence of lithium-ion batteries. In US, with a national average of about 11,800 miles per year, an average gasoline vehicle produce around 5.2 metric tons of CO2. For EVs it depends on where you are driving, so a state like West Virginia, which is heavily coal-dependent, will have much different numbers than a state like Idaho, which is heavily hydroelectric-dependent. Looking at national averages, we can get a good idea of average annual emission of EV and it is around 2 metric tons in a year. Even though electric vehicles make more CO2 during their production, they more than make up for it by having less emissions during use. And remember, electric vehicles in states with access to cleaner electricity like windmills, solar and hydroelectric power plants are significantly more efficient. And in fact, even the least efficient electric vehicle will be better for the environment than the most efficient gas engine after a certain period of time. So given all these conditions, will you go for an electric vehicle? And what resources your nearby power plant uses, let us know in the comment section. Also if you enjoy this video, notify us by hitting the subscribe button. And as always, keep wondering.